Here you go guys, I fattened it up to 120 nanos and uh, I have a resonator on the bottom with some ferrites on it in between the transmitter and the receiver coil. Let's just turn it on. We are pulling around 40 to 50 watts. You can see the bulb is lit. I'm going to short this. You can see there's power on the resonator. Lots of it. I'm shorting it. Quite a small reaction, almost ne neglectable, very close. Probably if they were both properly tuned, uh, you know. Anyways, that seems to work pretty good. I haven't turned it up. I haven't done any other experiments. I just thought I would throw on. I fatten up the capacitance. I played enough with the little shit. Not that that's big. That's still nothing. But uh, it's a. It's you know double what it was so let's turn it up see how bright this bulb gets probably gets reasonably bright or maybe it doesn't change it I don't know there's a hundred watts let's see what a hundred watts on this looks like pretty nice speed what's the bulb look like on that can I get it probably not Hmm, bugger. Well, that sucks. Anyways, this appears to work. No, oh, whoops, undid it there. So, uh, you know, obviously the range isn't uh, quite what you want. I just grabbed these coils, thought I'd throw them together, right? But uh, everything can be easily increased, adapted, earth grounded, you know, that might make a difference. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Fattened up the capacity. Look at the old gap just to rip in there. What's the frequency? Things just chattering and everything. Holy shit, 200 watts. Ooh, hot dog, look at that thing go. That's open circuits, 200 watts. Wow, what's going on? That capacitor must just be hauling ass. Barely even short the thing out. And that don't hardly slow it down at all. That brings the watts down on the input. That's interesting. 160 watts. Good and bright. And uh, peaks at 200 watts. Oh, what's going on there? I'm taking a load off and it's reducing the input. Well, that's quite interesting.